Hi, welcome back. We appreciate you joining us for another in the Bosch Thermal Technology series of educational videos. My name is Chaz Karen. Today's video will focus on the Green Star Boiler and its functionality using the optional FW200 controller. The FW200 controller is an outdoor reset control. The FW200 is designed to work with the Bosch boiler. The Bosch boiler itself is a high efficiency gas fired boiler designed for wall mounting or freestanding on the floor in applications in the US and Canada. In order to achieve peak efficiency with a boiler, we will use the FW200 outdoor reset controller when using third party thermostats controlling the room temperature. The FW200 is compatible with the entire range of Green Star boilers. And the range of Green Star boilers is extensive. We have combination boilers, both wall mounted and floor mounted in 100,000 BTU nominal inlet. Wall mounted and floor mounted boilers in a nominal 131,000 BTU inlet and a 151,000 BTU inlet. We also have heat only boilers Heat only boilers starting at a nominal 57,000 BTU inlet, both wall and floor mounted, a 79,000 BTU range, 100,000, nominal 131, and 151, 151,000 BTU nominal inlet. Again, wall mounted or floor mounted versions of these boilers. The FW200 is also compatible with the latest offering of the Green Star series, the Green Star Pro. The Green Star Pro allows for maximizing of customization by the installer. The maximizing of customization may allow for the reuse of existing equipment in a hydronic system, or may allow for a lower total installed cost of the boiler. Either way, for whichever reason the Pro might be chosen, the FW200 will always be an option to optimize the efficiency of that unit. The FW200 can be used in two configurations. It can be used as a wall-mounted room sensor and a single zone home. This is not the optimal way to use the FW200. The optimal way to use the FW200 is mounted directly to the Heatronic 3 on the boiler. To mount the FW200 to the Heatronic 3, disconnect the locking plate, that's a single screw. Slide the cover control blank off of the Heatronic 3. The FW200 slides back into that position and then is locked back in place with the same cap. Installing the FW200 on the Heatronic 3 provides power for the FW200 and also provides the bus connection which allows for the communication between the FW200 and the Heatronic 3. An additional contact or connection point will be the outdoor sensor. The outdoor sensor is provided with the FW200. This NTC thermistor monitors outdoor temperatures, provides that information to the boiler so that the boiler can modulate proportional and according to the outdoor temperatures. Given that, the outdoor reset controller wants to be on a north facing wall away from any influence to the temperature that it would sense, an influence like an exhaust or anything like that. The idea of using Outdoor Reset is to take away that simple on-off control that we typically and classically see with a high mass boiler. The high mass boiler supplies a single temperature regardless of the outdoor temperature or regardless of the demand inside the home. It is nothing more than an on-off controller to the boiler. In doing that, the boiler might hit limit and shut down. And regardless of the outdoor temperature, it only supplies a stable single temperature inside of the home. This is not the optimal way or the highest efficiency way to supply BTUs back into the home. And keep in mind, that is what we are discussing. When we talk about heat loss, we talk about BTUs loss. When we talk about replacing heat in a home, we're talking about replacing BTUs. Outdoor Reset takes into account the temperature outside and now gives another point of modulation for the boiler. Not only can it modulate its BTU input, but it can actually modulate its supply temperature out into the system. 
this simple outdoor reset curve, the graph on the left hand side, you'll notice the horizontal axis is the outdoor temperature. The vertical axis is the temperature supplied to the heat emitters within the home. So you notice at relatively cool temperatures, cool enough for a call for heat, but not extremely cold, the supply temperature is significantly lower than what many people think of as necessary for hydronic heating. Keeping in mind that very high temperature is called design temperature, and that's required on the coldest days of the year. For instance, on, during the shoulder seasons of spring and fall, or maybe some mild winter days, when it's 59 degrees outside, halfway between 68 degrees and 50 degrees on the horizontal axis, we see that supply temperature is just over 86 at maybe 88 degrees or 90 degrees being supplied to the heat emitters. The idea of outdoor reset is really a single thing. And the idea of outdoor reset is ensuring that the return to the temperature to the boiler stays below 130 degrees. 130 degrees is a target number because that's typically discussed as the dew point for the flue gases. So if we actually need and want the boiler to condense for maximum efficiency, we have to ensure that that return water temperature stays below 130 degrees. So in your typical system, which is designed to produce a 20 degree delta T, 20 degrees differential from the supply temperature to the return temperature, we want to ensure that our supply temperature stays below 150 degrees. So using this outdoor reset curve, and that 150 degree, the green horizontal line now, as our target maximum supply temperature, we'll see that the boiler will condense using this outdoor reset curve down to about 19 degrees Fahrenheit. The blue vertical line, anytime the temperature is above that, the boiler will condense. When it gets much colder than that, the boiler will remain as a high efficiency boiler but it will not be a condensing boiler. One of the problems commonly associated with a curve like this, which is a very efficient and very aggressive curve, is the idea that again, in that shoulder season, let's again pick that halfway point between 50 and 68 at 59 degrees, many people will perceive that their heat emitters are not hot enough to actually make them comfortable. When in fact, BTUs are being replaced into the home and perhaps even their thermostat is actually satisfied. So in order to help these people feel more comfortable, what we'll talk about is adjusting the baseline temperature. The baseline temperature we can talk about now bringing up, maybe bringing that baseline temperature up to closer to 102 degrees. With a baseline of 102 degrees and a design temperature up at 176, we now see that the boiler will still condense out to a temperature of about 23 degrees Fahrenheit or down to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. And think about that. In your market, how much of the actual heating season do you spend colder than 23 degrees Fahrenheit? This allows your customers to enjoy the maximum efficiency of their heating appliance for the vast majority of the heating season. And then for people who want more comfort, we can even do a more aggressive line. We talk about supplying maybe 122 degrees. And then we can see we lose our condensing net where now we can only condense down to about 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Any of these are far more efficient than just simply supplying 176 degrees during the entire heating season. FW200 Outdoor Reset Controller, as we have said, can be wall mounted, but it's best installed or directly onto the Heatronic 3, directly onto the Green Star boiler. Menu button allows us access to setup information. Pressing the menu button for approximately five seconds will bring up system configuration. We're going to scroll down to heating parameters and heating parameters is where we can now adjust our baseline temperature or that starting supply temperature. Heating parameters, selecting heating parameters, pressing in brings us to heating circuit one. 
from heating circuit one. Selecting heating circuit one, you can scroll from radiators to baseline and design temperature. Again, pressing in or pressing OK on the control will bring up the current baseline temperature. So if we want to increase from that 78 degree baseline temperature, we scroll up. And again, we could scroll up to maybe that 102 degree temperature. Selecting the 102 degree temperature, we can then go on to design temperature. And again, this will be your maximum supply temperature. And depending on your market or the home or any deficiencies in radiation in the home, you may need to select a higher design temperature for those coldest days of the year. Adjusting that will make your customers maximize both their efficiency and their comfort. Thank you for listening in on the Green Star FW200 Outdoor Reset Controller. If you'd like further technical support, please give us a call at 800-283-3787. Also keep in mind, in your install manual, under the commissioning chapter, there is a quick startup guide for the FW200, which will review all of the points and some others that we have not discussed today. Again, I'm Chaz Karen for Bosch Thermo Technologies Training Department. Thank you for listening in.